all right today i'm going to show you guys how to use the c trader platform so uh, you can download this plot this um, app from google play store or um or apple store so if you open the app the first thing you're going to be asked to do is to sign up to create a, a to sign up and signing up is actually very easy just like how you sign up for other other platforms you just need your email and a password then this email and the password is actually what you're going to use to place it in other to put in other brokers right so in case for instance you have a broker that, that is using um c trader platform so you be, you will need that email address that you can sign up for this broker but for this um terminal this c trader terminal so you need you will need that address to use it and register for that broker so when you do it it will automatically show us the available account at this place so this is how it work so when you sign up you're going to be greeted with this a similar page like this although i've customized this a bit there's more assets but basically what you'll be seeing here is major assets i'm going to be explaining all these things about this place so starting from here if you open this place you can see the account that you currently have that is linked to that your email right so now deposit withdraw uh, this is um, something that you, I, don't, I don't think you'll be using most often because you're going to be going straight to the broker to to make deposit or withdrawals so you can actually place new trade here create price and that but don't worry all this and you can sign out in this place you can even click on settings and this is all your your statistic your free margin use margin and the rest of them you can actually scroll around this place this is a time this is a session and the rest of them so now what you'll be using most mostly is what is around this place so this is this things you're not going to be needing it so the first thing you want to do you can actually create a new watch list this watch list is just a watch list of popular markets so you can create a new one if you create so these are the ones i created if you go to this one watch list now you can actually add a new symbol if you add a new symbol you type in the symbol you want uh, let's say um you can see oil good let's say you s30 you s30 okay now let's just say euro usd so euro gpp you can see you can now toggle it if you toggle it it will become added it will get added to that your watch list so now what you are looking at uh, so this is your watch list the usd card watch list this is going to show you the position of all the trades that is in this all the available trades like that is running that is running currently running to so show you all the available trades that is currently running and this place will show you depending orders or depending orders then this is price a lot if there's any price alert you set this is history of the trades you took and this is transactions that have happened um, if you deposit or withdraw money. So now let's say we click on one of these pairs. Let's say USD JPY. Or let's just say GPP USD now. Now this terminal you are seeing here is specific for GPP USD. This is the overview. You can sell, you can buy, and you can you can actually open up this chart where we are going to get to this in a bit. And this is market sentiment and the rest of them. I don't think you'll be needing this. Uh, you can create new order at the uh, new you can create new order here but basically this is the same thing we explained the only difference is that these things are specific for the pair you clicked on so this is position order spies alert history and the rest of them so now let's go back to um, let's go back to watch list yes okay gbpsd so now if you open up this um, if you click on this square box you're going to open up the chart section and here is where you can do many things you can choose the time frame you want to you are working with these are the time frame that you set as favorite you can actually set new time frame as favorite right so if you click on this time frame let's say we click on 15 minutes time frame or let's use the one hour time frame so now we are on the one hour time frame so if you click on this and you can change the type of um the type of candlestick or the kind of candlestick or bar that you want to use I don't think you'll be using all this and this is exclusively for people that are doing chart work and most of your chart work you will most likely do it in trading view so this is actually a indicator and this is where you can place your limit order i'm going to come back to this in a bit then we have where you can draw stuff on the chart this if you are trying to chart if you are trying to draw things like triangle rectangle a trend line you know all these things no, no, it's not sure. No distance. You can draw 
a triangle right so let's delete this term so this is basically where you draw stuff and this is for if you want to select uh, if you want to see a particular price level so this is settings i don't use this term but this you can actually make settings here you can check it out for yourself but the most part one you'll be using is this limit order so now the advantage of placing limit order inside this place this chart section rather than at this place is because of when you uh, in case if you want to place limit order on a specific structure maybe you want to place it at this place or maybe the price maybe the price is not the same maybe you are trading something like and uh, us oil which varies so if you are trading something like us oil that usually varies you know that you're going to be having variations in price it's not the same price that you're going to be seeing in this broker or in this your particular broker that you're going to be seen on trading view so you you most likely are going to work with structures so now if you want to place a limit order now just click on this place if you click on this place this is actually the market order this is the quantity you want to click you can click on the type of limit order you want to place limit stop stop limit let's click on limit order you can set the amount you want to um uh, place it just say 0.5 you click on okay you can either do buy or sell buy or sell so let's sell so you're going to place it to the place you want to sell at and then put your stop loss there and put your stop loss there and then put your tp any place you want your take profit to be so now if you're okay with it then you can click on place order but let's explain this thing um, a bit this is the amount you are you want to buy 0.5 lots this is a stop loss in pips 19.9 pip and this is the amount the value you are going to lose 99.5 dollars same as this place this is the the the, the take profit in pips and this is the take profit in amount in dollar amount so if you're okay with this thing you click on place order then if you click on place order now this is how it's going to uh, show up in this place now let's say you want to edit this order now you can click on it you can either cancel if you click on this cancel you're going to cancel the stop loss if you click on this cancel you're going to cancel this tp but if you want to delete the order you can click on this place it will delete the order if you want to edit it you can click on this place and edit the order you modify the order set any order this time you want and you can also cancel the order at this place or even set trailing stop loss so that is it for the modification now let's go back a bit so now you can see the order is showing here this place remember this place is showing only the orders or GBP USD orders uh, it's not going to show USD JPY but if you go other place now you can see the orders for all the OPEX as you can see now at this place it's showing only one because we only have one GBP USD position which we just set now uh, which we just set now but if we click on orders here you can see there are two orders that are currently running so let me cancel this order if you click on this place it gets cancelled so this is basically everything on the app this is basically what you need to use the app if there's any other extreme feature you want to use these are um, these are these are subsidiary this is not something that you need this this thing just for it this video is for you to get you get start using the platform i don't intend making it long and there's no much thing you need so basically what you need to do is you use this video and just start when you start using the platform you get used to it so and that's it so now let's go to a uh, little about history and in case if you click on history now you can see the trades that you took right the trades that you took yeah uh if you click on this page you can see the trades that we took i can set the symbol the size and the date and the rest of them so if you click on this uh, aud usd now you can see the whole statistic of the trade the full statistic and you can actually share this thing to your friend or anybody in a group just the same way you share image or anything on social media so now let's put this thing down right yeah so now if you scroll down you can see more details on it and you can actually screenshot it so this is all the whole feature of the usdg provide so of the of um what i call this platform c trader so this is how to use c trader just get going start using it if you start using it you get used to it and i'm also going to make a video on how to use c trader in, on your pc right so if you are using pc if you're using c trader on pc you can actually go watch that video if i make it it will be showing uh, on uh, the at uh, the right hand side of this video right so you can click on it and watch uh, it it's not it's almost the same thing but it's a little bit 
um, it's not complicated but it's more it's more difficult to navigate compared to this so that is the video i have for you guys if you find this video insightful please do well to hit that like button and also um if you're interested in videos about trading finance um just uh, educational videos on trading or whatever partaking to finance if that's something that you're interested in do well to hit that subscribe button and help the channel grow so thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you in other videos